Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great Sunday. It is November 17th. I'm checking in with you here. I'm in Delaware. I know what you're thinking. How'd you end up in Delaware? I'll get to that. Give me a minute. So, uh, I just want to make a video about the week I had. Um, I think the last video I made, I was up in Minnesota catching a load down to North Carolina. Um, I got that load. It was a decent paying load. It paid right at three grand for uh, thirteen, about thirteen fifty on the miles. Let's say I was already in Minnesota or in Minneapolis, so it was like fifteen miles, twenty mile deadhead on that one. Um, so I grabbed that load up. Finally got loaded. It took about six hours to get loaded. Um, I got one hundred twenty dollar detention pay on that. It's not great, but honestly, the load. I could have been there like a day ahead with it, honestly, and uh, the shipper, or excuse me, the receiver wouldn't have took it a day early. They had a set time they wanted that there, so I'm actually glad it had detention at the shipper because it's an extra 120 bucks I made for the week without having to do anything really other than sit there and wait. And I would have been waiting at a truck stop down the road anyway, so um, detention's not always a bad thing if it's, you know, not holding you up from making money. It's actually adding to your week. So that's the scenario I got in with that. I was kind of happy that I got that extra 20 because I needed it because that load was horrible on fuel. Uh, they loaded 30 pallets on there. It was about 43,000 pounds. Uh, loaded it all the way to the back. Made for an awkward ride. Hurt fuel economy. Had a lot of mountains. I averaged about 6.2 uh, to 6.3 6 6 on that run. Um which is well below my 7.2 I've been averaging in this truck uh, since I got this truck. So that was a pretty good drop off with the mountains and the weird load. And um, yeah, I just, just wasn't crazy about that load. Probably wouldn't grab that one again. Although that was a good rate. You know, that, uh, that puts a good chunk on your week when you can get something like that. If they schedule it out better. Uh, that was my beef with it. You know, look, you're talking uh, 60 degree load. They wanted that cap at 60 degrees. It was single digits out, so that reefer was running uh, wide open the entire time, and um, it was it was not good uh, as far as I mean, I'm not responsible for the reefer fuel, but uh, I also worry a little bit about you know the thing uh, breaking down when it's running hard like that. Um, so anyway got on with the load got that unloaded thursday morning couldn't find anything i really cared for coming back uh to minnesota to get rid of that reefer um looked around all day finally thursday afternoon the company calls me and said hey we got a load that's going to pennsylvania uh it's paying 850 bucks it's like 418 miles um had about a 50 mile dead head on it so I said, yeah, let's do that just to get me out of here. And the main reason they wanted me in Pennsylvania is because they had a little, uh, they needed some trailers shuttled around Pennsylvania, and uh, they were going to pay me to do that. So I agreed to it because I needed some miles for the week, and the shuttle moves definitely had some miles on them. Um, started off, uh, so anyway, the load from North Carolina, that was a load of sweet potatoes. That was heavy. Uh, not that great of a load, but you know, it paid like 850 bucks. So the other thing I did moving the trailers around and shuttling the trailers. So what had happened was got emptied in Pennsylvania over on the east side of Pennsylvania in uh, Pottsville and then They wanted the reefer trailer took to a customer on the other side of Pittsburgh. It was like 270 miles uh, they're starting a new customer there. They're starting to, trying to create a trailer pool over there. So, um, it's not a refrigerated customer, but they will load a refrigerated unit. So, they had me take that over there. Then we bobtailed all the way back to York, Pennsylvania, where, uh, they're removing trailers from a trailer pool over there in York. So, I went over there and grabbed a dry van out of there. Uh, it was 240 miles of bobtail over to that. And then it was 120 miles down here to where I'm at right now, waiting for a uh, door to put this trailer in so they can live load it. Uh, this load goes to Chicago. So all in all, it's like a 1,400 mile load. And, uh, you know, 270 was pulling an empty reefer. 240 was bobtail. 
120 was dead head down here to get this load and it's about 750 back um about 750 back to chicago with this where it's a drop and hook in chicago so that is uh what i've been doing all week uh this little trailer shuffle move it works out to about a buck 80 a mile it's not paying that great but uh over half of it was either pull an empty trailer well about half of it uh about 650 was empty about 750 is going to be loaded uh so the empty was you know 270 pull an empty reefer 240 bobtail 120 uh dead head down here i'd have to you know verify the numbers to make sure that's exactly right but ballpark that's what it was um all in all it's becoming a better week than uh i thought it was going to be this little shuttle move moving these trailers around you know i haven't used a lot of fuel and it's kind of bringing my weekly fuel average up like i said not paying the greatest it works out to about a buck 80 a mile but it's good revenue for the week uh, if you combine the reefer load at the beginning and then that little, uh, you know, that little 400 mile run from, uh, North Carolina up to Pottsville, it actually averages out not bad for the week. Um, puts me in, uh, I mean, right off hand, you know, the first part of the week was like 1800 miles with the first two reefer loads. And so then, you know, 1400 with this stuff. I'm going to say I'm probably in the ballpark of uh, $2 a mile. Should have some decent revenue. It's like 3,200 miles for the week. I'm going to say I'm probably going to be in that like 60, I'm going to say probably like 6,500 revenue for the week. Um, it's going to be a pretty good week as far as, um, you know, all overall. Hopefully when we get this done, be in Chicago Monday afternoon. Hopefully they got the the pre-plan something for that. I'm gonna call them Monday morning and let them know I'm gonna be there Monday afternoon to drop this trailer. And hopefully they can pre-plan something I can get picked up that day because I really want to churn another good week. Um, you know, with the holidays coming up, got to keep moving, got to keep making the money. And uh, that's what's been going on, guys. I appreciate everybody watching. I really do appreciate that. I appreciate all the comments, all the subscribers I got. Uh, the channel's growing. I appreciate that. Um, I'm not sure why I really, uh, you know, the numbers don't really matter. I mean, I'm going to make the videos no matter what. But it is encouraging to see people, uh, you know, liking and watching and uh, commenting. So that always helps. But uh, I'm going to hop off here, guys. That's what I did for the week. I appreciate everybody. Take care of each other out there, guys. Later.